Welcome back to Necro Nation Japan. And once again, this is Jeremy talking about my passive income portfolio. Today we're looking at my Roth account, my individual account, and my custodial account. Looking at exactly how much passive income I've received from these accounts and where I want to get it to go in the future. All right, let's get to this. Please leave a comment below and tell me exactly what your financial goals are. I'm looking to expand rapidly into my financial goals and I hope you'll come along for the journey. So we're looking right over here at a passive income investments. We have our Roth account, individual account, and a custodial account. Roth went down again, so it's all these accounts are kind of plummeting right now. That is what it is. The market's gonna go up, down, all around. What I care about is that monthly dividends. So how much did I receive this month, you may ask. So what do we have here? We have Roth. $43, not too bad. Individual account, $46.93, good. Custodial account, $26.24. Comes to our total of 63580 So we're down quite a bit month after month. From the last three months, we've been going down. As you can see here. As you can see here, we've had the downtrend since the pandemic. Uh, 35,032, 29, then up as I put more money in, and with the Fed backing everything, it just skyrocketed from there. We got 55,000, then we hit 57,000, 58,000, 61,000, 66,000, and then it started to go down a little bit. Not too bad. 65,000, 63,000. Okay, just some of the individual stocks dipped a little bit. That's fine. Not too bad. But what I really like to see is right here. So January, zero dividends. Kind of a shame, but that's what is what it is. February, $55. Not too bad. March, 133. April, $47. May, 57. June, nice month, $254.93. Good. July. 116 August 58 then best month ever $284.17 September 2020 and then this month drops down quite a bit 117 so if you compare it here it's still going up we have large months going up quite a bit very nice. I want to see this grow and grow and grow and get more dividends every month. I want to get this average right now, $112.54 average. Not too bad. Going up. That's what I want to see. I want to see that number at 1000 per month so I can cover my entire mortgage payment and a little more every month just in passive dividends income. So I want to see that passive income. If I have any kind of emergency, boom, flip that switch. It goes right over and I can pay it monthly mortgage, no problem. Then if I have any issues, if I get that sorted, I can turn it back on, dividends go back in, I get payments every month. Then let's look at our totals. This thing is getting ridiculous. 2017, $319, not bad. 2018, four hundred and seven dollars good 2019 six hundred and fifty two dollars okay respectable so far 2020 one thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars and forty one cent and that's a pretty good chunk of change i obviously have all of these reinvested in the particular dividend stocks they paid out then and then so it's going to grow every quarter it's going to be nice we will see just looking through the stocks we own Nothing particularly gains all some going up some going down this particular month it hit down it went down a little bit but nothing to worry about as we see here more just companies great companies paying my dividend that's pretty much all my Roth individual account uh, we have North Tanker Carnival Coca-Cola Dow uh, we just just bought ourselves so Nordstrom, I really wish I bought more of this at that time, but that's just how it is. Then Tapestry waiting to go up. I want to, as I said, 
these three companies now i want to see if in about a year if they pay a dividend i'm going to hold on to them and if they don't i'm going to reassess to see exactly where their price is and it may force me to sell it but as long as it's in the long position i pay lower tax on it it doesn't really matter too too much because i'm uh, obviously i am living in japan but i still want to pay lower tax even if i don't have because my rental properties in america i don't get I get barely any taxes because I don't have any income in the States, but you get foreign tax credit and that's a whole other bag of worms I'm not getting into here. So this month I bought myself some more Nordstrom, not too bad. Everything else looks pretty good for custodial count. Just here, good. We're a little down, I mean the North American tanker is gonna go down and down and down because I bought a lot at $5 and it was great at the time it paid a good dividend i got a lot of bang for that buck it's going to be a while before it gets to the positive numbers so i'm just going to sit and wait on it it's paying me a dividend i'm going to reinvest in north american tanger it's a great dividend paying company we'll see how it is in a few years so roth account let's see what we got for a dividend so we have just in this part we have coca-cola paid me one more share a little less than that but very close to then that's pretty much it for a Roth account this month not too great but obviously I had super huge payments last month I hope everybody goes back and looks at the video if they want to see a good month versus a bad month well an okay month I should say and there's one other thing I forgot to mention so we had I doubled my position in North American tanker uh, it went down enough so I bought in at, believe it was three dollars a share we're gonna say that and doubled my position so I now have went from 216 almost doubled 416 shares then coca-cola paid me a dividend so I got almost one share there and Nordstrom it was just a really good price on Nordstrom. I've never seen that low put a small stake down so I got 50 shares of Nordstrom and told mother paid the dividends 0.1 nothing really Nothing really to cry home about, but it's a little money coming in. Look at our custodial. I also doubled up on our North American tanker. So from 54 shares to 104 shares. Not too bad there. So then Coca-Cola paid out. So what are we, 0.4 there. And Toll Brothers, a little bit there, 0.1. Nothing too bad. Ending this particular month out, we have 63,580 overall total value for all of the accounts uh paying pretty good dividends we got roth 44 individual 46 and custodial 26 it's but i think that's probably my highest from the custodial account so far with that not too bad so where did i start this whole journey right with our roth account it went down quite a bit but still i put in twenty eight thousand five hundred forty two dollars and seventeen cents right now the worth of it $39,777. That's up quite a bit. I want to see that grow, obviously. And obviously, if I put this in like Tesla or something, I would have probably seen this growth, but that's not my play. What my play is is great dividend paying companies, owning more and more shares of those companies, averaging out, almost guaranteeing, unless that company goes insolvent, I'm guaranteeing myself great passive income every month throughout the rest of my life, which is awesome. All right, individual count went from 15 to 17. That was up a little bit. Custodial, $5,007 to $6,300. Not too bad, right? With that, I wanna invite you to challenge me and look at particular companies that you would think would make great dividend payers. I wanna look at each individual company and go through and say okay exactly why this would be a good dividend payer or why it would not and what do you think about it with that thank you very much this has been jeremy from neko nation japan i really hope you enjoy these videos and get this passive income portfolios out there to show exactly how i do it and how it should be done and everybody can do it along with me thank you very much this has been jeremy signing off sayonara